It's Mutant Bobblehead Day for the first 10,000 fans with extra limbs here at Three Mile Island Stadium here in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. I got seven extra knuckles, Grim. Hey, extra fingers and toes don't count. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Cleveland Burns take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Win the brain toss and can kick off or receive. And now receive the kickoff. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> it's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzrow here with you along with my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works in deep fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. Caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Kickers. <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. First down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Either way, the fans are loving it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Anyone's game at the end of quarter one. They need a good return here to set up the offense. 
Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named it. Oh, nice hit. so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Defender almost picked off the ball on that one. For a kick this far, you just gotta kick it as hard as you can, partner. And Dane, it's really important from this distance. That's probably a smart idea. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Unbelievable! He scores! This guy's a game breaker! Man, he returned that kickoff with an amazing run! Leaving the kickoff team in the dust and puts up six on the board. <laughs> they 
bricks. They're going for two here. How do you like your defense is cooked? And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. show where it's you against a horde of zombie referees in a cage of death you ready for some fun kids zombie ref season is now open and game over you now he was a decent player and gave his all for the mfl halftime show rest in peace little buddy you gave it your best Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Second down and six. Oh, and he intercepts the ball. Thank you very much. You gotta stay focused on the field, Bricks. You can't lose your head in the heat of battle like he did. Just slows the game down. Don't want to 
want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. He goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Pow! And oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Time to speed things 
warms up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Is the game over yet? I gotta go to the fence to have him reattached by Big Coda. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock-blocked the clock. signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line, and the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And when bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that <laughs> the steelheads are losers today they've got 99 problems but a win ain't one of them that's right grim just like a bridge all the troubled water like a whole lot of rosie the game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the MicroHard Corporation. They get it right every other time. Shit, what up? What? 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 What?